Hello everybody and welcome to this channel. In this episode I'm going to introduce to you an enclave in Turkey. Please stay tuned. Ephesus was an ancient Greek city located in present-day Turkey near the modern town of Selçuk, positioned on the western coast of Anatolia. The city was a vital center of trade, culture and religion in the ancient world, flourishing from the 10th century BC until the 15th century AD. Its strategic location near the Aegean coast and the Kaister River contributed to its growth and prosperity as a trading center. Following the collapse of the Ottoman Empire after World War I, Ephesus and the surrounding region came under the control of the newly formed Republic of Turkey. In 2015, Ephesus was registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognizing its outstanding universal value as an archaeological site of immense historical significance. The designation acknowledges Ephesus' role as one of the most well-preserved ancient cities in the Mediterranean region, showcasing exceptional examples of Greek, Roman, and early Christian architecture and urban planning. Today, Ephesus remains a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from around the world who come to explore its ancient ruins and learn about its rich cultural heritage. This enclave played a crucial role in early Christian history. The city is mentioned several times in the New Testament of the Bible, particularly in the Acts of the Apostle and the Epistle to the Ephesians. The Apostle Paul visited Ephesus, preached there, and established a Christian community. Legend holds that the Virgin Mary in her last years sought sanctuary in this place, purportedly dwelling in a modest abode nearby, revered today as the house of the Virgin Mary. Various miracles and events were said to have occurred in Ephesus, according to Christian tradition. For instance, it is believed that the Saint John, the evangelist, wrote his gospel and was buried there. Additionally, several early Christian councils, such as the Council of Ephesus in 431 CE, were held in the city. The Seven Sleepers of Ephesus is another significant religious event associated with the city that recounts the story of devout young Christian men who during the reign of the Roman Emperor Decius in the 3rd century CE sought refuge in a cave near Ephesus to escape persecution for their faith that led to their protracted slumber within the cave for centuries. The city was renowned for its grand gates, adorned with intricate designs and sculptures. Among the most notable gates was the Magnesian Gate, providing access to the city's commercial center and connecting it to the renowned Sacred Way. The Library of Celsus, built in the 2nd century AD, stands as one of the most iconic landmarks of Ephesus. The interior of this part, measured nearly 180 square meters and housed over 12,000 scrolls that served as a mausoleum for Celsus, a Roman governor as well. The library's facade, adorned with statues and hieroglyphs, is a testament to the city's intellectual and cultural prowess. The most famous religious landmark in Ephesus that took 120 years to be built was the Temple of Artemis, 
dedicated to the Greek goddess. It was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Serving as a center of worship and pilgrimage, it spanned an area of 9,271 square meters with more than 100 marble pillars, each 17 meters high. Many myths and legends were associated with Artemis, including her role as the goddess of the hunt, wildlife, childbirth, and patroness of maidens. The temple of Hadrian is another sacred building that was built around 138 AD by Publius Quintilius and dedicated to the Roman Emperor Hadrian, who visited the city in the same year. This elegant structure showcasing the city's allegiance to Rome was an exceptional example of Roman architecture featuring a pro-style design with Corinthian columns and a lavishly decorated facade. The Temple of Sebastoi, also known as the Temple of the Emperors, was constructed during the 1st century AD. This edifice was dedicated to the cult of the Sebastoi, a group of Roman emperors regarded as deities. Though not as well preserved as some other structures in the area, remnants of the temple offer insights into the religious and political ethos of the ancient time. The city's bathhouses were essential social and recreational places, reflecting the Romans' emphasis on hygiene and communal bathing. The Baths of Scholastica, one of the Ephesus' largest and most elaborate bath complexes, featured hot and cold water, gymnasiums, and swimming pools. Ephesus Amphitheater was among the largest in the ancient world, capable of sitting over 25,000 spectators, hosting theatrical performances, gladiatorial combats, and political convocations. The colossal amphitheater was a focal point of civic life and entertainment in the city. During that era, Christianity flourished in Ephesus and the city boasted early Christian churches, including the Basilica of St. John, constructed in the 6th century AD on the supposed burial site of the Apostle John. These churches played a crucial role in the spread of Christianity throughout the region. The city was adorned with numerous statues and pillars both as decorative elements and symbols of power and prestige. The statue of Nike, the goddess of victory, once graced the city's agora, while the Corinthian columns of the Temple of Hadrian showcased the city's architectural splendor. In Ephesus, mosaic designs with geometrical patterns adorn the roads. These intricate tessellations, made of small colored stones, served both ornamental and utilitarian purposes, enhancing the beauty of architectural spaces while providing durable flooring. Today, remnants of these mosaics offer glimpses into the artistic skill of Ephesian craftsmen. 
The inscriptions found in Ephesus provide some insights into various aspects of its history, culture, and society. These inscriptions have been translated by epigraphists over the years, shedding light on the daily lives, concerns, and activities of the citizens in the ancient city. They cover a wide range of topics, including dedicatory inscriptions on public buildings, records of civic events and religious decrees. Some of the translations of Ephesus inscriptions reveal details about the city's administration, such as the names of officials, decrees issued by local authorities, and legal matters. Others provide information about religious practices, encompassing references to the pantheon worshipped in Ephesus, as well as the rituals and ceremonies associated with them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your opinion in the comments section. And if you would like, please subscribe to my channel and wait for new videos.